All right, so we are back. You are watching Physics Dude. But... Profit and loss. That is today's topic. But what is profit? And what is loss? We have to learn this first. After that, we will switch to our, obviously, exercise. All right, so coming to profit. But before that. Should we know that how a book or how any kind of goods get sell or brought from wholesale market? So suppose this is your shop. Uh, just like a thela lagaya ho tum. Uh, uh, pani puri le lo, pani puri le lo, just like that. That is not a pani puri stall. Look like an ice cream stall mostly. Okay. So whatever you will sell from this shop, this is your shop shop so whatever you will sell from this shop but you need to buy that too suppose you are going to sell apples so you have to contact to a farmer and this farmer sending you bunches of apple so the farmer send you some apples so you brought that all apples from the farmer so this is your cost price cp what is your cost price? Whatever you are selling, you have to buy it first. So when you brought all those apples from the farmer, that is known as cost price, CP. Okay, I'm assuming over here that it is 100 rupees. Very uh, low price, but <laughs> just, uh, just take it. It is 100 rupees. All right, so one customer just came right now and you have to sell that to uh, Customer to nahi lag raha ye kya hai? Chalo ek normal se customer banate hain. Thela leka raha hai. Bhaiya bhaiya, apke paas apple hoga. Tum bolay, ha? Kyu nahi hoga? Le lo. But kis mein khade the? Hundred rupees mein. But jab beche kis mein beche kiye? One twenty rupees. To customer bolay, bhaiya bhaiya, ye apple ka kitna paisa hai? To tum bolay. Why not? 120 rupees is very sasta. Take it. It's for you. So, just, okay, joke apart. Okay, jokes apart. Just you brought that from 100 rupees. But you are selling that with 120 rupees. So, what is that? That is selling price. I hope you got the chain idea that you are buying something from the wholesale market. And the cost that you spend for that is the cost price. And you are selling something thing or selling that same thing to the customer so that is your selling price all right coming to this example the selling price is 120 rupees and the cost price was 100 rupees so what is the profit obviously the profit will come as you can see that the sp that means selling price is greater than the cost price so whenever sp is greater than the cost price that means profit occurs. You are gaining some money for that. Extra money. That means profit means extra money is coming by selling. That is the business. That is the profit I know. So, different thing. Whenever cost price is greater than the selling price, then it will be lost. I will come to that. But let me uh, clear it first. So, what is the profit? That is 20 rupees of profit you just got from here. Okay. So, but you need to say what is the profit percentage. So how to convert it into percentage? We know that whatever will count in 100 rupees, that will known as percentage. You all completed the percentage chapter and you are familiar with this thing. So it will come as 20%. Or you can uh, think from there that always the percentage is depends upon the cost price. So what is the cost price? That is 100 rupees. So in 100 rupees you gain 20 rupees extra. That in 100 rupees you are gaining 20. So 20%. That should be your answer. Very simple one. Okay. So that is all about profit. So I am again uh, telling you the master formula of profit. Please note it down. That SP minus CP. That is equal to profit. Remember that. It is going to help you in all the sums. Alright. So this thing completed. But 
सपोज तुम खरीदे वो वाला एप्पल बट खराब हो गया कोई किसी ने खरीदा ही नहीं इसने बोला नहीं चाहिए आपका एप्पल ये तो बहुत खराब हो चुका है आ, तो मैं नहीं लूंगा तो तुम बोले ठीक है ठीक है भाई मत जाओ मत जाओ आ, चलो चलो अस्सी करके देते हैं तुमको जैसे कि मार्केट में होता है तो यू जस्ट सोल्ड ऑल दो एप्पल विथ एटी रुपीज अच्छा नाउ वॉट अभी देखो सीपी कॉस्ट प्राइस इज ग्रेटर देन द सेलिंग प्राइस सेलिंग प्राइस अभी कम हो चुका है वाई इट इज कॉज यू कैन सी दैट हाउ मच लॉस हैपन दैट इज हंड्रेड माइनस एट्टी दैट मीन्स ट्वेंटी रुपीज ऑफ लॉस्ट यू जस्ट फेस्ड ओवर हियर सो वट शुड बी योर परसेंटेज ऑफ लॉस दैट इज नथिंग बट ट्वेंटी परसेंट लॉस नॉर्मली देखो यहां पर तुम हंड्रेड रुपीज से खरीद रहे हो But whenever you are selling that, you are getting less than hundred. So obviously loss is over, right? So अगले में मतलब पिछले वाले में क्या हुआ था? That is you are selling with one twenty rupees. So उसमें twenty rupees extra मिला था तुम्हें. So that was your profit. So I hope the idea is clear about the profit and loss. So what should be your loss formula? Now the master formula for loss, that is cost price, that is always greater for loss, is subtracted. By the selling price, and that is equal to loss. So this is your master formula. Please note it down. All right. So that is the basic idea about the profit and loss. Now we will start the exercise. Let's move on it. All right. So we are back on our exercise 15A. Okay. So in 15A, the first one that is profit or loss percent, you have to find that one for each cases. Okay. Before Doing that, we have to understand that what is happening over here is that cost price is greater or selling price is greater, and by determining that, we can say either profit or loss is happening over here. So let's check it out first, very quickly. Okay, so cost price first one. This is a cost price is four hundred. Selling price is four hundred and sixty-four. Very easy one. Cost price that is four hundred. That means you brought something from the wholesale market at four hundred rupees. Now you selling that in four hundred and sixty four rupees. So obviously profit is to hua na. So you got profit of sixty four rupees. But you have to find it in percentage. I will show you that. Let me show you first. Okay, number one part A. That is CP. First of all, you have to write it. CP equal to Four hundred rupees and SP that is equal to four hundred and sixty-four rupees. What I told you, if profit is happen, I told you the master formula of that. That is SP. Obviously, SP is greater than CP when profit occurs. So SP that is four sixty-four subtracted by four hundred rupees. Obviously, so you are getting rupees sixty-four. Now see those who are getting confused in percentage, just follow this simple trick technique. All of you know the unitary method, and we are just going to use it over here to find the percentage. I told you that this profit or loss, whatever will happen, that is only applicable on cost price. That will be charged on cost price. Remember that. So what is cost price over here? That is. Four hundred rupees is your cost price. So in four hundred rupees, your profit. In four hundred rupees, your profit is rupees sixty-four. Then in one rupees, your profit will be sixty-four by four hundred. Now, in hundred rupees, your profit will be what? That is sixty-four. By four hundred into hundred. See, very easily we just got the idea of percentage by using the unitary method. Now you can see that if you want, you can cut it very, but we you don't need to cut it. Uh, so it will be three and two, and that is very simple. Uh, you are just getting sixteen over here, so it will be sixteen percent. So what is your profit percentage? That is. 16%. I hope now it is clear to you all the idea. I am repeating it. 
first of all you have to check the step one you have to check either it is profit or loss whenever you get that just put the formula of profit or loss then get the amount of profit then find the percentage now percentage part is completely up to you you can use various uh, formula to find the percentage but i just show you the most simple technique by which the mistakes will be very less if you follow this one moving to the next one let me erase it first chalo 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 erase karte hain tata bye bye tata bye bye erase ho gaya chalo magic it's magic okay so now coming to another one let me choose any arbitrary one that is um let me check let me check okay so we got a chalo ye wala um, so we got something very crazy over here that is selling price and cost price both are same that is 2500 rupees why so that suppose sometimes happens you don't need to do any profit or you also not want to face any loss so what you did you just sell that uh, you just sell that uh, object or good whatever you have in just equal amount of sale cost price so in this case you can see that sale price and cost price both are same so in this case what is happening profit or loss nothing is happening no profit no loss so what should be the percentage of profit or loss zero percent that should be your clear answer you can say it also like that that um, 2500 cost price minus uh, sp that is 2500 minus 2500 so zero is coming right and from here you also can say like that that is completely up to you so this is the uh, important one from here okay now moving to the next one in next one you can see that the selling price is given and the profit or loss whatever is happening regarding that selling price is also given so we have to think a little bit in this part what will do let's see so i'm choosing a two part anyone 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 which one i will choose 2006 okay two part f let's do that in this two part f the selling price is given that is 2006 do 2006 ki baat hai jab selling price hua karta tha 2006 okay chok sab baat so selling price is 2006 do we know cost price no we have to find that so let so many of you uh, take that cost price as 100 but okay no issue with that you can do that also like that but i am taking x over here so my cost price is x now what is happening that is it is given that profit of 18% all right so we know profit is happening and whenever profit happens selling price always greater than cost price i told you many times so selling price minus cost price that is equal to profit we know that this is the master formula now what is selling price 2006 what is cost price that is x we just figure it out or we just assume that let it is x now coming to profit 18% of profit is given but this profit or loss is depend upon what it is depend upon the cost price so it is 18% of cost price you can write it like that 18% of cost price that is your profit this thing whatever will come from here this will be your profit so 18% means what 18 by 100 of means what that is multiply cp we know that it is x don't tell me you don't know these all things i told you many times in previous chapters if you have any doubts still you can ask me so that is 2006 in this side let it be like that acha in other side you got x uh, i should write it as 18 by 100 multiplied with x and if this x will go in the other side it will be positive you all know that so it will be positive x now do the lcm over here it will be 100 and in the upper one it will be 18x plus 100x 
so you can assume very easily over here that will be 118x divided by 100 okay now that is equal to 2006 so we need more space so wait a minute let me hide this one okay so after that we just have to solve this one 118x divided by 100 that is equal to 2006 so x equal to what just do the cross multiplication 2006 multiplied with 100 then divided by with 118 so if you uh, do normal over here uh, i think yes yes i think 118 will come cut that one with uh, 7 yes that is 7 and 1 is coming so 17 will come if you cut 2006 by 16 okay so we got that already now it is just very easy to find that 1700 0, 0, that is the value of x so what is this so the cost price is 1700 0. someone may think it is a longer technique yes it is and so many short technique is there even you can put this in formula to get the answer very easily the formula is given in your book and also you can find it from anywhere but why i did that because this is the basic part this will tell you what are you doing over here this will give you the base idea which gonna which you can use in the higher studies that is in class 8 and 9 you can get the idea of this thing very easily if you start practicing this kind of technique from now so that is completely up to you whatever technique you will choose but i just show you the base technique in this base technique you will get the complete understanding of this solution all right so i hope you copied it now i'm just going to erase it and magic okay all right so now moving to number three in number three what is given cost price is given and what you have to find the selling price okay let's do that i will choose uh one uh tera mera sa koi hai hai to dikha do mujhe okay which one which one uh, chalo g karte pehla wala f kiya tha let's stand out just moving for g Achha. so cost price what is that that is 1020 rupees okay cost price is given no issue with that now coming to profit okay it is told over there that profit is happening all right how many uh what is the percentage of that that is 20 and half so it will be 25.5 percent profit very nice okay so let me write this one profit with percentage 25.5 percent okay no issue with that first of all what we have to find that is selling price all right so i am doing with same traditional method that let the selling price is x all right profit is happening we know that it is selling minus cost that is equal to profit let's do that all right so let me write the formula for selling price minus cost price that is equal to profit okay profit pro my name is also coming in here okay so selling price i just assume that it is x cost price that is 1020 it is given all right profit how much profit that is 25.5 percent of profit always i told you profit or loss whatever will happen that will depend upon the cost price so this percentage is of what this percentage will be always for cost price so this is just like uh, just write like this that 25.5 percent of cp it will uh, give you better understanding so 25.5 we can break it over here if you want that it is 10 like this i just uh, break that into fraction and off means percentage sorry off means multiply and cost price uh, we just assumed oh no we have that value that is 1020 so it is very easier one uh, from the previous one so i'm sending that 1020 in the other side we just have 255 and 10 is already there for the point and another 100 will come for the percentage sign you all know that i guess if you 
don't know this part please practice the percentage one first after that please come to this chapter it will be more helpful for you so as you can see i am taking the 1020 as common from both of this as you can see 1020 is both multiplied with this part so we can take it out as common over here all right moving to the next part bring the lcm for that 255 yes it is over there plus if you do the lcm it will be added up with 1000 so and also we have 1000 in here multiply it with 1020 okay now what we have 1225 divided by 1000 that is 1020 multiplied with all right first of all we will do it like this first of all as you can see three points are there, sorry three zeros are there so we can very clearly say that it will be 1.225 and now we have to multiply that with 1020 so it is clear to you just multiply it with 1020 and what you will get over here that is 1249.5 and this is your selling price so you got the value selling price I'm just telling you again, you can put the formula, you can bring out the answer very easily in just three or four steps. But this will give you better understanding. If you want to follow this one, I just break that into from very base part. What actually happening over here, you will understand by this one. But if you want to follow the formula, that is also applicable. That is completely up to you. I'm not going to force anyone to follow this one. Okay. But please make sure that the answer should be correct. नहीं तो आंसर ही करेक्ट नहीं हुआ तो नंबर कैसे मिलेगा पॉइंट पॉइंट है जस्ट साफ इसमें ओके सो वी गोट द आइडिया राइट इफ यू स्टिल हैव एनी डाउट राइट मी आई एम ऑलवेज देयर फॉर यू नाउ मूविंग टू सम व्हाट सम्स ऑल राइट लेट्स सी व्हाट आई हैव गिवन अच्छा नंबर सेवन कमल परचेस्ड अ कार बाप रे बाप कार खरीद लिया ओके कमल परचेस्ड अ कार फॉर One lakh fifteen thousand rupees. Wow, brave! Wow, itna itna kam ni kar bhi lagya uska. Strange. Okay, jokes apart. After one year, he sold it at twenty percent loss. देखो ज़्यादा तर electronics, car, gadgets में क्या होता है? Whenever you just bought that, after buying that thing, whenever you are going to sell that after two or three years, first of all कोई खरीदा ही नहीं. सभी अभी नया वाला ही खरीदना चाहते हैं. तो अगर कोई सेकंड हैंड खरीद भी ले स्टिल यू विल फेस सम लॉस इन दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज गिवन दैट इज परचेस्ड अ कार दैट मीन परचेस्ड प्राइस व्हिच इज नथिंग बट कॉस्ट प्राइस फॉर कमल ओके बहुत अच्छा नाम है ओके 115000 दैट इज द कॉस्ट प्राइस यू जस्ट परचेस समथिंग एंड यू आर गोइंग टू रीसेल so it is your cost price right okay now you are just going to sell that but loss is happening over here what is the percentage of loss let me write it over here that is 20% of loss very sad okay so we just got whatever we need over here now let's just finish this sum okay so we need the selling price we need over here the selling price now we know that whenever loss will occur that the cost price always greater than selling price so cost price minus selling price that is equal to loss and still we are going to write it like that but before that let me assume that selling price is equal to x rupees so what is selling price x what is cost price that is 115000 okay that is equal to 20% acha so i told you always that loss profit whatever will happen the percentage of that always depend upon the cost price so 20% of what 20% of 115000 okay so let me write it more clearly over here so we know that 20 by 100 that is 20 percent of means multiplied and 15 115 000 
I'm showing you the trick. Just bring this one in the left side and send that x in the right side. What will happen? That 115000 is already there. If you bring that 20 by 100 means what? 20 by 100 means 1 by 5. So you can just change that one. 115 divided by 0, 0, 0 divided by 5 is coming in this left side and x is going in the other side. So the sign will also interchange positive to negative and negative to positive. All right. So let me do it very easily without much more calculation. You always have to avoid the calculation. And if you know this magical trick, and obviously this trick will come by practicing, then your mistakes will be very less. So as you can see, I took out the 115000 as common factor. So if you notice that what we have inside, that is very easy done. And we are going to do the LCM over here. It will be 4 by 5, and that is equal to x. So what is the value of x? x equal to 4 by 5 multiplied with 115000. Now you you all know that what I'm going to do over here that is 115000 is going to subtract by sorry I'm going to divide that by 5. So what will come that is cutting with 2 Yes, that then uh, is three one one five. I'm just uh, dividing that one by one one five from five, so it will twenty three. Now another three zeros are there, so it will be twenty three thousand. Now we got that twenty three thousand, so we have to multiply that with four. So it will be kind of around ninety. Yes, ninety two. So it will be ninety two thousand rupees. So he brought that card from this 115000 rupees and whenever he is selling this one he is just getting 92000 rupees so how much money is he uh, lost for this that is already 115000 is your cp if you subtract it by uh, 92000 then you will get the money how much he is getting after one year so that's it. Now we are moving to the next sum. It will be obviously 23. Achha. Number 12. Sumir sells a washing machine for 12,600 rupees. Okay. So he is selling that thing. That means that is the selling price. What is the percentage? Uh, sorry. What is the price? That is 12600. Okay. And earns 5% of profit. Wow, nice one. So, cost price should be higher than the selling, sorry, cost price should be lower than the selling price because the profit is occurring over here with percentage 5. That's, that is very good one. If he had to earn 8% profit, at what price should he sell uh, the washing machine? Okay, we will come to that later. But before that, we should finish the first one. He sells something and he got 5% profit. All right. So first of all, we have to find the cost price for that. All right. Let's move on to this. Whenever the profit is occurred, that is cost price should be less than the selling price. That is equal to profit. Now I told you profit percentage it will be always depend upon always depend upon the cost price. So I'm taking the cost price as x and it will be selling price means 12,600 minus cost price which is x and profit. Profit means what? 5% of CP and now 5% of CP means x. So it will be 5 by 100, 5x 5 by 100 actually if I do it very quickly. Right. If you have, you can uh, do it more calculation over here, uh, you will get that it is. Wait a minute. It will be x by twenty. So we got x by twenty in the right side, and in left side we got this. We need to find the value of x. So I'm sending that x in the right side. X by twenty is there, and it will become plus. So. 
it will be 21 of x after doing the LCM divided by 20 and that is equal to 12,600 rupees. So x will be equal to 12,600 into 20 divided by 21. So now is the chance to cut the thing by 21. So if you try to cut that one with 21, what you will get? You will get 600. So after multiplying that 600 with 20, you will get 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 12,000 rupees. So that is your CP, cost price. So that is 12,000 rupees is your cost price and you are getting 600 rupees extra as profit. Okay, so this is your profit now. So all we know now the cost price, but what we need now. All right, let me check the sum again. Now, what we have to do, we have to earn 8% of profit. This time the profit should be of 8%. Okay, cost price, we know that, that will be always same, 12,000. Now, and for this condition, for this two, what should be the selling price if you do the profit? So, selling price equal to Y. We can't take X anymore because we already took that one once. Now we have to take Y. All right, so we got the idea. We got Y over here. Let's do this. Selling price always greater than cost price for profit. And we are doing the same master formula for this. And let me finish it up very quickly. Uh, so, SP. SP means Y. Minus CP, CP is given 12,000. Profit, what should be the profit? Profit is always depends upon the cost price. Now, what is the cost price? 12,000, yes. So, 8% of 12,000. Always write it like that. It will give you very easy way to understand. Now, coming to the value of Y, we need the value of Y. So, Y is in here. I'm writing only Y in this side. At 8% of 12,000, that means what? 8 into 1, 2, triple 0 divided by 100. You can uh, cut that zeros if you want. So, it will be 120 into 8. Subst uh, sorry, it will be added because the subtraction sign is there. So, it will be added up with 1, 2, triple 0. All right. Now we have to uh, make it more solve over here. Let me draw it over here. Wait a minute. So it will be. We have to first of all multiply that 120 with 8. We know that 12 into 8 is 96. So extra 0 is there. So it will be 960. Yes, it is 960. And that will be. Add it up with 1, 2, 0, 0, 0. So the full value of y will be 1, 2, 9, 6, 0. So finally, you got the SP that you wanted to do the profit of 8%, and that is 1, 2, 9, 6, 0. That should be your answer. All right, now coming to number 17. Vimal brought 50 apples for 250 rupees. Out of them, 10 apples got spoiled. He sold the remaining apples at a certain price and earned an overall profit of 10%. Find the selling price of each apple. Wow, that is great. So, we all brought 50 apples. Okay, that is the cost price of 50 apples equal to what? 250 rupees. Then what should be the cost price of one apple? Cost price of one apple. That is 250 divided by 50. Very easy one. And the answer should be 5 rupees. So the cost price for one apple is rupees 5. Now out of them, 10 apples got spoiled. So you can't sell them. So now remaining apples, 
remaining apple is 50 minus 10 that is 40. So now you have 40 apples got uh, 10 of those are completely spoiled. So for 40 apples what should be the cost price now? We know that each of those apples having cost price 5 rupees. Now for 40 apples the cost price will be 200 rupees. So we got the cost price of 40 apples that is 200 rupees. Okay, no issue with that. Now coming to the remaining apples got 40 and the cost price of those is 200 rupees all you got. Now you need to sell them with overall profit of 10%. So overall profit of 10%. But this profit is only for the remaining apples. All right. So profit always occur on CP. We know that. And that is now your CP for 40 apples. All right. So profit that is equal to what is the given percentage? 10% of 200. Your profit should be 10% of 200 rupees. Alright, so what is 10%? 10 percent? 10 means 10 by 100 into 200. So it's become 20 rupees. So you need to do the profit of 20 rupees for this whole uh, 40 apples. Okay, now find the selling price of each apple. Alright, so we just came to the end. Now, what should be the selling price? Now you doing or you are earning more 20 rupees. So selling price is your cost price that is 200 rupees plus whatever you are getting extra that is 20. So overall the selling price for 40 apples is 220 rupees. So for 40 apples SP that is selling price equal to rupees 220 then for one apple cause we need the price of each so for one apple the sp is 220 rupees divided by 40 so 0 or 0 gonna cancel 2 and this gonna be 11 11 by 2